word tactical is currently defined as relating to or constituting actions carefully planned to gain a specific military end. That makes sense. So then by definition, tactical watches should first and foremost be designed to help with said military end. And at one point, the military issued purpose-built standard issue watches built with certain timing capabilities like hacking seconds, clear and bright legibility, and of course, built with really hard wearing materials, be it steel, heavy duty nylon, or canvas. Nowadays, the military, or the US military specifically, doesn't issue a standard issue watch, but soldiers do have to abide by a dress code when landing on a timepiece that suits the demands of their particular area of focus. As such, watchmakers and gear suppliers still supply highly functional, utilitarian watches they market as tactical, with ample features well beyond timekeeping for those folks, be it actual members of the military or ordinary civilians to use as they see fit. So today, we're diving into the world of tactical and military-inspired watches, and just to be clear, we're not focusing on standard issues or reissues from yesteryear that only maintain popularity in the small watchmaking world, but more so practical tools for the industrious everyman you can really lean on when it counts. So without anything further, let's dive in with our first tactical mission-capable watch from Sunto. Located on the outskirts of Helsinki, Finland, Sunto manufactures some of the world's best precision instruments. The Sunto Core Alpha Stealth is our pick for the best affordable tactical watch, clocking in right around $300. In this guide, we're going to showcase a mix of smart digital watches, smart digital analog watches, and also a few completely mechanical, tactical, and military-inspired watches as well. They come in all shapes and all sizes. So before we proceed any deeper into this guide, we're going to just preface it with a bit of transparency by saying that none of the high-consumption crew have military backgrounds. So we're approaching this guide from the perspective of functional, everyday tactical watches that provide specifications that yes, could certainly support actual military applications, but also provide just as many everyday friendly tools and outdoor centric tools as well that certainly spill over for civilians. So again, we just wanted to be transparent and operate in good faith. Anyway, back to Sunto. It's actually the perfect segue watch to make our previous point because the Core Alpha Stealth is marketed as an outdoor watch with military grade specifications. It builds in an altimeter, barometer, sunset and sunrise times according to your location, a compass, and provides weather information, like a storm alarm, to aid with on-the-spot remote decision making. The all blacked out form comes with 30 meters of water resistance, which does leave a bit more to be desired, but makes up for it with cool hunting friendly features like a red backlight that supports night vision goggles. At its heart, the Core Alpha uses a quartz caliber with an approximate one year battery life with normal use, and when that time comes, swaps are seamless by way of the screwed down battery cap on the case back. Now, our next pick, MWC, has had their fair share of controversy. There have been accusations levied against the brand, which started in 1974 and produces military watch homages, design amalgamations, and yes, some of their own original designs, all with visually rugged military ammo and hard wearing specifications. So long story short, there's been little evidence to actually support that despite MWC's claims, they currently do or have ever supplied actual military organizations with watches. It's hard to pinpoint exactly where these claims began and even harder to validate or disprove, especially since watches haven't been standard issue pieces for the US military for many decades. Nonetheless, MWC's catalog does offer watches with hefty specifications, and one of our favorites we consider to be one of the best dedicated titanium tactical military watches is their P656 Titanium built to US W46374F Type 6 specification. The P656 Titanium offers a full titanium case, 300 meters of water resistance with a screw down crown, Swiss tritium on the dial and the handset, and a reliable high precision quartz caliber for timing. The P656 Titanium is one of the more traditional looking military watches in this guide, both in terms of size and aesthetic. 44 millimeters on the wrist, including the crown, otherwise 42, 49 millimeters lug to lug, and 14 millimeters thick. Now, it does offer a unidirectional rotating bezel with plenty of grip and embossed numerals every 5 minutes, but our unit shipped with a considerable amount of play in the opposite or clockwise direction that made it feel flimsy and rather poorly constructed in hand, verging on unusable. Now, we're not quite sure if this is a quality control issue, but it's worth noting, and we have heard of a few other anecdotal reports of QC issues in the past with MWC's divers. So drop us a line below if you've experienced anything similar. Anyway, an anti-reflective sapphire protects a fairly classic field watch inspired dial that uses both a 12 and 24 hour track applied with non-luminous material, but instead opts to employ tritium markers along a high set chapter ring and likewise within the hour and minute hands. Like Loom, tritium has a constant glow that won't fade for many, many years. 
but the trade-off is that it glows much darker than traditional superluminova. So you will struggle to see the glow if you're not in an extremely dark environment, deep underwater, in the dead of night, on a moonless sky, etc. It's really impossible to show on camera, so we use some UV light to actually show where it's set. The flat black NATO is standard, nothing much to report on here, but we did notice that the clasp is noticeably thinner than a lot of other military field watches we get hands on with. That being said, it is lightweight, and it helps keep the overall feel on the wrist largely ghost-like. Next, we're going to have a bit of fun with a modern military-inspired reissue of the Seiko Prospex Diver Reference H558-5000 from the early 1980s that soared in popularity courtesy of iconic 80s films like A View to Kill, Predator, and Commando. The latter pair's leading star Arnold Schwarzenegger catapulted the diver into true cult status by adorning the matte black unit on the wrist during hyper-stylized action-packed sequences. It's been synonymous with a perception of tactical rugged utility ever since, with the H558 and SNJ025 references commonly referred to now as simply the Arnie. Just a few years ago in 2019, Seiko modernized the original and much-loved 1982 hybrid diver's watch reference H558-5009 by integrating solar quartz internals while largely keeping the overall silhouette firmly planted in the 80s retro-futuristic zeitgeist. But much like great films, great watches achieve cult status for a wide variety of different and largely subjective reasons. The allure of the Seiko Prospex SNJ025 is no different, and it encapsulates an era in filmmaking known for fast-paced action and a markedly rugged aesthetic. With the 2019 Seiko Arni, the sentiment truly shines through with a quick glance at the analog digital interface that feels almost like a prediction of where technology may be headed as pop culture began to ponder what the 21st century may have had in store. Beginning with the case we mentioned oversized in the introduction, and at 47.8mm, the Arnie has relatively substantial wrist presence for most wearers if you're assessing case diameter alone. Seiko actually decided to size up the SNJ025 revamp by about 2mm from the original at 46. Though overall with a 14.4mm thickness, a 51mm lug to lug, and an 11.2 ounce total weight, the 2019 Arnie largely stays true to the 80s blueprint. The highly polished stainless steel lugs only protrude from the shroud a few millimeters, which allows the lug-to-lug -to, -lug to stay well proportioned to the main case. What may wear large at pushing 50 millimeters in diameter with normal length lugs, the Arnie actually wears in the mid-40s on the wrist. Visually, the black plastic outer shroud and the protruding and highly polished stainless steel pushers, crown, and lugs render the style of the Arnie with an almost robotic air. With 200 meters of water resistance aided by the adjustment crown, screw down push buttons, and unidirectional 120 click rotating bezel, the Arnie affords generous utility. A key cornerstone behind the SNJ025's release was to infuse the original H558 with modern tech, and the byproduct is a much loved digital readout that's now backed up by a solar powered quartz movement, which, as you'll quickly find, improves the overall utility of what was an already really reliable unit. The Arnie has a wide range of time zones to choose from, can display the day of the week and the day of the month, has a programmable alarm and a stopwatch with timing capabilities up to 100 hours. To set the time, select that function with the 8 o'clock pusher and use the digital adjustment crown to cycle through the hour and minutes by spinning clockwise or counterclockwise. After confirming with a quick push in, the analog hour and minute hands automatically and rapidly rotate into place, syncing the analog interface with a digital readout. The original Arnie employed a standard quartz caliber, a movement introduced to the horological world by none other than Seiko in the late 1960s with the Astron. As the Arnie doubled down on utility, the new Arnie kept the quartz tech while providing the infrastructure for solar charging. The combination of a lengthy reserve and analog digital interface for easy legibility and a near impervious case that protects the internals against water, pressure, and shocks all make the Seiko Prospects Arnie a true workhorse alongside its iconic styling. The Arnie ships with a 22mm black silicone diver strap secured with a stainless steel buckle hardware and a brush finish that contrasts nicely against the highly polished elements of the inner case. It conforms to the wrist in an effortlessly comfortable manner right out of the box, with a rubbery feel that bakes in a touch of stretch to accommodate any slight changes in wrist size throughout the day. Most modern dive watches have followed the original mold, building their watches with conventionally tough corrosion resistant 316L stainless steel. But hey, Every material has its drawbacks, and when Luminox first partnered with the Navy SEALs in the mid-1990s, the extreme demands of their profession called for something lighter, something stealthier, and obviously something insanely tactical. Luminox followed suit, crafting the original Navy SEAL out of a proprietary Carbonox, a non-metallic carbon powder composite material that's extremely lightweight. We're talking 71 grams for the entire watch, as it's six times lighter than stainless steel and three times lighter than titanium. 
On the wrist, the highly tactical and fully blacked out Navy SEAL is 45mm in diameter with a 14mm thickness on the wrist with bright white embossed numerals on the 60 click unidirectional rotating bezel, as well as bright white Arabic numerals for the 12 and 24 hour track sitting underneath the hardened mineral crystal. At the 3, the screw down crown supports the 200 meters of water resistance of the main case and is coated in a silver color that matches the screw down case back and does a very nice job of complementing the overall darkened color scheme without calling all too much attention to itself. In case you forget, the rating is blind stamped on the left flank. Set within the handset and situated at the periphery along the chapter ring are tritium tubes that are rated for a 25 year constant glow. But again, don't expect the luminosity of regular lume. It's virtually impossible to accurately show on camera, but this glow can really only be utilized in extreme or total darkness to be actually effective, or deep in depth. What we like most is the thought put behind the entire watch. Focusing our attention now on the bracelet, the Carbonox continues with the three-link unit that stays tethered with a very convenient and far superior, in our opinion, screw post links, instead of push style, which also accent the other silver tone pieces of the watch in a very cohesive way. A safety clasp and three micro adjustments on the partially stainless steel clasp allow for plenty of fine tuned adjustments on the whole experience has very, very little play anywhere. All in all, if you're looking for a highly tactical dive watch, you can't go wrong with one vetted and originally designed, tested and relied on by some of the world's most elite warriors. Now we did say our team doesn't have military backgrounds, this is true, but what we can do is highlight watchmakers that do. MTM out of Los Angeles, California was founded by former Israeli Special Forces veteran Joe Cassis. MTM strictly supplied watches to Special Forces, law enforcement, and tactical units before ever making their watches for the general public. Now they've amassed quite a catalog of tactical and military watches with US made builds. The MTM status is their first in the newly formed Smart Gear collection that supports integration with any iOS or Android smartphone running on Android 4.4 or iOS 9.3 and above. 45mm and 16mm thick, the status won't hide its proportions even with the blacked out titanium case. The styling is most definitely tactical compared to its other smartwatch contemporaries even in this category with rivets, knurling, and chunky pushers at the 2 and 4. The Status is an analog digital hybrid, and to get started, the Status prompts you to first and foremost download the app and follow the app's instructions, which we did. Truth be told, the setup and calibration process was ridiculously simple. It took less than 5 minutes to set up our watch, and after doing so, you'll have access to the home control screen that you see here. Next is your time panel, which pulls up this stealthy dock grid world map, where you can keep track of a few different time zones across 58 cities, as well as an alarm, timer, and the ability to switch between a 12 hour or 24 hour format. The city navigation tool is an interesting one, which essentially just taps into Google Maps. Once you find your desired location, choose your transportation method, and then bam, the instructions immediately show up on the watch, and the case even provides a good degree of haptic feedback with each new set of commands. The compass feature is pretty straightforward, but it was really neat to see the hands move as they would the hands on a traditional magnetic compass, and to see the degree readout on the digital screen operating simultaneously. As a last note in terms of features, you can also program the status to alert you for any incoming calls, texts, emails, or even notifications across social media. The MTM status is technically a smartwatch given the smartphone control, and all in all, as such, one thing you'll have to consider if you're seriously considering a smartwatch is the battery life. Typically, smartwatch manufacturers opt to build in a rechargeable battery instead of a swappable one, as the watch's many functions would drain a traditional swappable battery ridiculously fast, and that could get costly without rechargeable batteries on hand. So on the back side of the status is this proprietary 2-pin charging port that uses a proprietary charging cable. As long as you can keep track of the cable, no big deal, but for some this could be more of a nuisance than a convenience. While we're on it, the battery life rating sits right around up to 25 hours with regular use, which did seem a little generous given our tests. It also took just a bit longer than the hour and a half charge time from a dead battery all the way up to 100%, but really not by much. But at the end of the day, this is one of the most responsive and intuitive smartwatches we've reviewed to date. And let us be the first to tell you, they can be quite the headache to set up and operate. We love that there's nothing extraneous about the watch's features, each one of which are very useful. The app and sign up process doesn't make you jump through unnecessary hoops or subscriptions, and the style will certainly satisfy the tactically oriented, especially with this OD green rubber strap securing the status to the wrist. We'd bet some serious cash that if you took a poll of actual service members and asked them which watch, if any, they wore, 90% would say G-Shock. Honestly, there would also be probably a lot of variation as well, as G-Shock doesn't just build one tactical or military or mission capable watch. Like its name plainly lays out, the Mudmaster was created to withstand, well, mud. 
But more than that, it's basically element proof. Fire, ice, rain, mud, pressure, altitude, magnetism, humidity, temperature. You name it, the Mudmaster can handle it. It is the definitive outdoor G-Shock, and that makes it one of the definitive G-Shocks to live up to the demands of military action. Plus, it comes with a slew of modern EDC-centric features. At 54.4mm in diameter with a lug-to-lug -lug of 61.2 and a thickness of 16.1, this is certainly not a wearable watch for just anyone, but more so a practical tool, dare we say an instrument, purpose made for durability. Think extreme sports, hiking the PCT or Appalachian Trail for months at a time, or even construction and fabrication, firefighting, the list goes on. Functionally, the Mudmaster is absolutely packed to the brim in typical G-Shock form. A trio of sensors keep track of direction via a digital compass, altitude up to 32,000 feet, barometric pressure and accurate temperature readings from 14 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, 200 meters of water resistance, solar power, a bright LED, and neo-bright material applied to the dial. G-Shock brands the whole Mudmaster line as a tactical line, so much so that in 2020, they announced an official limited edition collaboration with the British Army. Convinced now? Chances are you're familiar with Victorinox by way of their iconic red Swiss Army knives, but in recent decades they've also been manufacturing watches built with the same attention to detail and durability as their multi-tools. One of our favorite carbon fiber tactical military inspired watches comes from the famed multi-tool and knife maker, the Victorinox Inox Carbon. In the same vein as the Luminox Navy Seal, the Inox Carbon comes with ample weight savings by way of the space tested carbon case. Now, what they mean here is that the watch itself wasn't sent to space, I'm sorry to disappoint. However, they've employed the same, or at the very least, a similar carbon composite material used by space agencies like NASA for their spaceship's heat shields, which are extremely important during entry and re-entry. Anyway, 43mm on the wrist and 14mm thick with a 3.5 ounce or 99 gram weight makes the Ionox feel notably light for its dimensions, but not nearly as light as we initially thought it might be. Our guess is that the culprit is the stainless steel case back and the paracord bracelet, but more on that toward the end. 200 meters of water resistance and a screw down crown protected by a pair of guards at the three. Now under a scratch resistant sapphire is where the dial shines, literally with heaps of Swiss superluminova used to set the Arabic numerals and inset within the hour and minute hand, as well as the shield logo taking the place of the 12 spot up north. It would have been cool to see the chapter rings residence loomed up as well, but they're so small and delicately applied that for sure it would have been extremely difficult to pull off. In reality, they're bright enough to be seen in the dark anyway with a little glow spillover from the numerals to make this a non-issue. The date window offset between the 4 and the 5 isn't loomed as well in case you were wondering. So the analog quartz inside isn't anything particularly notable nor do they disclose exactly what it is, but what is notable is that they have another model, the Inox Mechanical, that employs a trusty Salita SW200, and that retails for about $400 more than ours here at a current MSRP of $900. Keeping the Inox tethered to the wrist in hyper-tactical fashion is a black paracord and nylon bracelet with J-hook hardware, and a standard buckle at the end, color matched to the black case, but not itself carbon composite, just to be clear. Garmin was one of the early pioneers to offer consumer GPS technology starting in the early 1990s. Now they become one of the eminent players to offer global positioning systems in compact forms. If we were to recommend an overall best tactical watch, it would be the Garmin Tactic 7 series. A family with a Pro Edition, a Pro Ballistics Edition if you find yourself hunting or at the range, and ours here, the AMOLED Edition, with hands-free adaptive screen brightness, rich color and contrast, and a touchscreen. Why exactly is it our best overall pick? Well, let's just say we'd be here all day listing out every single feature this smartwatch builds in. Each category, like sleep, timing, health and wellness, sensors, daily smart features, activity, safety, tactical, aviation, running, golfing, outdoor recreation, cycling, and swimming, builds in roughly 10 to 20 sub-features, each. So any and all activity you frequent, the Tactics is almost certainly going to support. In terms of presence on the wrist, the Tactics uses a 51mm fiber reinforced polymer case and a 16.4mm thickness, a blacked out titanium bezel and case back, and a nylon and silicone strap. Under Sapphire, you're offered a 1.4 inch AMOLED display, great for visibility, with a 454 by 454 pixel resolution and a battery life of up to 31 days or 11 days if the watch is continuously in use 24-7. And topping off this reserve is made possible by a proprietary 4-pin charging port, so just like the MTM status, make sure you hang on to and keep track of the included charging cord. 
The Tactic 7 has a lot going for it in terms of control. You can use the watch as you would a mechanical one, operating and accessing the many features by using the physical buttons on the side of the case, as well as a pseudo crown on the case's left side, making it somewhat of a smartwatch destro, so to speak. Or you can simply swipe up and down on the screen as well, and we were fairly impressed with its latency, or lack thereof. When we explored the features, there was an almost imperceptible amount of delay, and the case actually provides some haptic feedback, which you can turn on or off if desired when scrolling or pushing. The Tactic 7 also uses a 32GB internal hard drive to store your data, which should be more than enough for years of activity log. We're going to close out with a brand that has a really storied history, and a watch which we've deemed our best luxury, tactical, and military-inspired pick. During World War II, the Italian Navy formed a specialized unit known as the, well, we're not going to even try to pronounce it in Italian to save us some embarrassment, but the English translation is roughly the 10th Assault Vehicle Flotilla, which would carry out some of the most daring naval sabotage missions of the war against the Allies in the Mediterranean. Using human-operated submersible torpedoes, the Gamma Group used the submersible vehicles to attach limpet mines to the Allied warships, and the Panerais worn on their wrists played a crucial role in ensuring precise timing of detonation between the teams involved in placing the mines. After the war, Italian watchmaker Panerai kept manufacturing their wartime creations with minor modifications for civilian everyday wear. That being said, there are a few references that have maintained ample wartime utility, and one of our absolute favorites in all its overbuilt character in all the best possible ways is the Panerai Submersible Special Forces. I mean, just take a look at it. If there was ever a time to use the word stealthy, it would be now. There's a lot going on with this watch, so let's break it down. You could argue that all Panerais still maintain the ruggedness and still into the originals that were first commissioned by the Italian military all the way back in the late 1930s. But the submersible line is a fairly modern creation, which essentially took the Luminor's framework and elevated it with true modern diving specifications. Partnering once again with the Italian Special Forces has produced this submersible Special Forces. Now that you're caught up, let's dig into some specs. 47 millimeters of full titanium gives this submersible insane wrist presence, despite the all blackout DLC coating, which doesn't do much to mitigate the size. The titanium continues with the unidirectional bezel, housing a blue ceramic insert punctuated by a graduated scale. For a price tag north of $30,000, we were hoping the bezel had tons of crisp, and my god, it didn't disappoint. The clicks are snappy, accurate, and super satisfying. Plus, and this should be a given on any dive watch, no matter the price, the alignment was dead on. Screw down pushers at the 4, 8, and 10 control the dial's minutes, small seconds, chronograph hours, and chronograph minutes counters, and of course, no Panerai diver would be complete without the insane full protection safety guard protecting the crown. In this case, a very surprising push-pull unit. It hasn't been a long time since Panerai started producing in-house caliber, circa 2005. For context, this isn't surprising even within the European watch market. Take for example Tudor, who leaned on Rolex's in-house capabilities for a very long time, only officially releasing their first in-house creation in 2015. So Panerai was actually ahead of the curve here by more than a decade. This is all to say that the movement in this submersible collaboration is one of their own, the Panerai P9100R which boasts a beryllium copper alloy balance, a 28,800 BPH beat rate, Inca block anti-shock technology, and a 3-day or 72-hour power reserve across two barrels. It's hard to argue that even with those specifications and an in-house caliber, that you're not still paying for the history, collaboration, and of course, the name. So chances are, if you're seriously considering this watch, money isn't really a deciding factor. So maybe the right question would be, are there really any other luxury, tactical, or military-inspired watches out there to consider at this price point? The short answer, no. Especially not with actual military heritage, and in-house movement, and legit ISO-compliant specs. And with that comes the end of our hands-on guide of our picks for the best tactical and military-inspired watches. As always, make sure to check out our editorial guide and hit us up below with any of your favorites, as there are many more out there that could use some love.